Hello everyone, welcome to my corner of the internet. Today, we're playing some more of an Elder Scrolls Legend Battlespire. Last time we found, found ourselves in this place. You know, I don't even remember the name of this place. We are in some strange Daedric outer world. We're, we are not on Nern anymore. Uh, we, we are definitely not in Tamriel. Um, and um, we, um, we we fought things. That's basically what we did. We, we kind of did some grinding. I maxed out all my... Uh, Weapon stats, so uh, now for the rest of the, uh, rest of the level, I can focus on just uh, trying to kill things. I say try because, eh, as we've seen, that can be kind of uh, challenging. Um, so I want to go inside um, this place. Oh, no, there's part of the map that hasn't been exposed. That is driving me a little bit nuts. We're going to run over here just so that I can fill in that one part of the map. Uh, is that close enough? Yeah, there we go. We don't have that that horrible square. That was, um, that was bothering me. I, I, I want my map all the way filled in. I, I'm pretty sure there are maps that I didn't fill in before, but, uh, whatever. Um, uh, this one here, I needed to fill in. Can I jump up on top? I can, but I... There we go. Actually, before we enter, I'm gonna save. Alright, game saved, let's enter! The... Oh, I have to click, right. Alright. Who here wants a piece of me? Alright, we got water, we want to avoid the water. Um... That's right, we, we did fight something in here before. Uh, is there anything? What if I click on the middle part? Nope, nothing. Oh-ho! Aha! I see you! No more arrows. Alright, we need to, um... Okay, I need to figure out, for uh, once and for all, how to stack arrows. Because... Having all these, uh, these, like, iron, iron arrow, like, minus one iron arrow, but only having two, and then not being able to just sort of stack those up, uh, it's driving me a little bit crazy. So let's see. Let's put that in there. Minus one iron arrow number two. Now let's find some more minus one iron arrows and see if I can't uh, get those stacked up. All right, here we go. We got one. So if I combine these, presumably I would have three, but no, I only have one now. Okay. So where did the other iron arrows go? Okay, I'm, th that's these ones here. Okay, if I combine these two. No. That's not how that works. It gets moved down to the bottom. What if I move you back? There we go. You're up to three. So, let's say uh, I've got zero. F okay, these two are steel arrows. We have a two and a four. Now, if I were to lift this one up and put it back over top, because I'm thinking the, the two would slide down when I lift up the four, and now we have six. All right, so the second we pick one up, we have to keep in mind that whatever's above it is going to slide down. So let's say, like, uh, plus eight Daedric arrow, and we have uh, another plus eight Daedric arrow. If we pull this one, okay. <laughs> All right, so actually, you know what the easiest way to do this? Is just put one down here, and then that way there can be like, okay, these are the Daedric arrows. We got number 21. We move those over here. We now have 50. There we go. That's, okay, that's, that's, that's the easiest way to do it, is just find a type that you want to stack. Okay, plus eight Daedric arrows, put those here. Uh, where are my Daedric arrows? There we go! Okay, give me a second, I'm gonna just really quickly, uh, stack up my arrows. Okay, wait, that was interesting. Plus 38. Okay, I, I I'm, I'm gonna test something here. And see if, uh, that comes through. Okay, uh, do I have any other... Non-sorted stack. They're dwarven, iron, silver, steel, daedric, mithril, ebony. Oh, okay. Elven. I guess I. I. I okay. Darn it. I can't. I can't test it now because I already got everything stacked properly. All right. So let's switch back over to our our, our crossbow. Come on. Load. Uh, that missed. There we go. Arrow hits. I uh, missed. All right, so we 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 we're, we're using up our crappy arrows and working our way up to our good ones. All right, uh, there you are. Okay, I gotta I gotta wait for you to stop moving. Okay, stop moving. Okay, arrow hits. Or at least we'll have you like walking towards me. Okay, I'm gonna have to put myself into the path of, uh... PATH OF DANGER! 
All right, I'm up here. Um, wait, where did you? Oh, don't run away. I'm over here. Okay, come right for me. Come right for me. All right, run, 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 run. Turn around and fire. Oh. Okay, you don't deal with the corners very well. Okay, no more arrows. Come on. Oh, no! Alright, I think the elven arrows are going to be the last ones that I, um... I just use, um... With, like, just... Wastefully. Okay. Um... Are you in front of me now? There we go. There we go. No! Darn it! I was like, aha, I'm free of those arrows! No. Nope. We're, we've we've still got these arrows to, to play with. It's like, uh, you're pulling them right back out of the body. Gotta, I gotta use them and... Uh, as, as, as we've discussed in the past, you know, it is good to... It's the, the three R's, right? Reduce, reuse, recycle. We, we've gotta use those arrows again. All right, all right, so we've uh, cleared out this room. All right, uh, let's take a... Nope, nope. All right, let's take a look. It's kind of a cool map. Um, so each one of these, um, I'm assuming, is an elevator, right? That's what we kind of learned last time. So I walk on it, and it's going to go up to the next floor. And I'm gonna come out, and there's nothing here. Cool. Something on the wall here. Oh yeah, I've seen this. Did I? Is that something I, I, I pressed on last time? It might be. Huh. So we're up in the... I guess this would be kind of like the rafters, right? Is, is, that, is that what the term is? Rafters? Like, it, it doesn't look like it's supposed to be its own floor or anything, but... Uh, you know what? I could probably take this one on with a sword. So let's, uh, use the sword. Yeah, you're just gonna keep approaching me from the front. Where, where are you? Oh! Aha! You circled! You circled me! <gasps> Whoa! Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh! Ha <laughs> ha Almost knocked me off the edge! Uh, famous last words, right? Oh, I could probably take this one up with a sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. I totally believe you. Uh, all right, so we came up to the um, upper floor, the rafter. Uh, I guess you, you don't tend to build um, elevators up to the rafters. That's, that, that's not. That doesn't tend to be how you uh, you do things. But there was there was a button. I tried pushing it. Um, I got no feedback. Uh, ooh. Oh, do you keep going up? Here, let me press... Oh, it's an elevator call button! Okay... Okay, I, I see. I see now. Um, but not all of the elevators have this. Is it only that one? Yeah, that seems to be the only one that actually has a button. Interesting. I don't know why I rolled my R there. Just, just, it just happened. Um, okay, so I'm guessing this goes back down. Uh, I guess we want to go up further? Alright, so we're going to push the button and then jump on the elevator. Alright, well, we got this. Oh, crap, no! I was like, what kind of dummy would put the door right in front of the thing? And I'm like, oh, wait! Those dummies did not put the door right on the thing. All right, so we gotta bring you back down, and then on your way up, then I'll push the button, and then, yep, yeah, okay. Yes, all right. All right, we got this, we got this. On we go. And up further we go, we're, oh, ah, no, ow, ah, ow, 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 ow. Um, go away. Oh yeah, I'm I'm losing health. Those uh, those dots are woo. Those are those are some nasty, nasty ones. Holy crap! Yeah, I need to I need to heal. Uh, I ate some um, some spells there. 
in my panic, I ate some spells. Oh no, no, stay there. Don't 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 come over here. Look, I'm still trying to just survive from your Oh, wait. All right, I th I think I did it. I waited them out. Now it's time to switch to my terrible arrows and see if I can't just pop out, shoot and hope he stays stuck. Aha! Oh, holy crap! <laughs> Uh, oh no! <laughs> Don't peek the spellcaster! It's like... Counter-Strike. Holy crap, he went through the ground! Oh, oh, he he's down below. Okay, I'm getting off. Alright, I'm here! You're not attacking me? Your enforcer's down below? I'll have to fight him later, but for now... You're not attacking me, and my health can regenerate while I explore. Okay. I, uh, I think I'm okay with this. Let's save. Is that- should we? Seems like a dumb move, but let's do it! Alright. Um, I'm gonna walk around here. I'm pretty sure you are a- a, a talky bad guy. You're- you, you seem to be- yeah, you're- I don't think you're gonna attack me. Or maybe you're just waiting until I get closer. Maybe your- your trigger range is just- much nearer. Um, okay, so there's no other enemies in here. Yep, you seem like uh, the talky kind. Um, okay, let's talk to you. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna talk to him. He's gonna be like, and now you die. And I'll be like, ah, I predicted this. <gasps> Can I see the future? Maybe. Thank you for coming. I regret the disturbance you've caused, though in your place, I might have thought it excusable. I'm actually kind of caught off guard here. Thank you for coming. I regret the disturbance you've caused, though. In your place, I might have thought it ex excusable. Okay, so he's, if, if, I'm, if I'm understanding this right, he's like, thanks for coming. I'm... I, I'm not happy about the disturbance you've caused, but you know I can see from your perspective that it was it was necess it was necessary. Okay, <laughs> disturbance. If if that is uh, if that is not simply polite understatement, I shudder to consider the normal state of affairs here. I beg your indulgence. I was hard pressed and was forced to resort to violence more often than suits a gentle-souled person like myself. Uh, I need excuse myself to no one. I'm here under duress. And I hope very much to make you regret the disturbances you've caused in the lives of the battle mages of Battlespire. Skip the niceties. I don't like you, and you don't like me. With that understood, let's get down to business. Like, um, hmm, let's see, which one sound, like, which one would I go for? I'm kind of, personally, I'm kind of somewhere between these two. Like, I beg your indulgence, I was hard-pressed and was forced to resort to violence more often than suits a gentle soul person like myself. But at the same time, I don't need to excuse myself to no one. Like, I'm here under duress. Like, you people put put me in this situation. You kind of deserve what's coming to you. Um. But I'm going to go with this one. Because if I can avoid combat, I will. Because... That doesn't help me at all, because then I die like 50 times in a row and have to keep reloading my game, and I get frustrated. Yeah, we'll go with this one. We're going to play nice in hopes that... Oh, we, we know that... It, the game is built around combat, and every time up till now, it always ends, end, ends up being that way, but whatever. Let, let's beg us and let's, let's play the game. I dare say that by mortal standards, all this must seem an unsettled existence. Well, you are not here for an extended stay... I have a proposal to make, but before I do, are there any questions you'd like to ask? Okay, sure, yeah. What's your stake in this? Are you angling to supplant your boss? I'm bewildered by the subtleties of Daedra clan politics. Can you sort out for me the players in this little drama? Lord Dagon and his clan want to add Battlespire to their do dominions, yes? If so, why are you, his chief lieutenant, and your followers working behind the scenes to confound this ambition? I can't understand why any of the Daedra clans have anything to do with mortals. Why would even the least of Daedra answer a mortal sorcerer's summons? And what on Tamriel could possibly interest any of the immortal powers? I'll satisfy my curiosity at my leisure. At present, I'm, I'm rather in a hurry and would hear your proposal directly. This is, I think, the, the question I'm, I'm, most, I'm most curious about. 
Uh, Lord Dagon and his clan want to add Battlespire to the Dominion. Yes. If so, why are you his chief lieutenant and your followers working behind the scenes to confound this ambition? Because to me, this sounds like we're not necessarily going to one hand, like single handedly deal with Dagon and his whole invasion of Battlespire. But it sounds like there might be some internal politics that we can use to our advantage. You know, like maybe if we work with Imago Storm to mess up Buddy's plans, then we can um, stop the, the assault on Battlespire and all that stuff and close, basically stop the invasion. Yeah, I think I think that's the one I'm going to go with. You know, considering we don't have a wood grain shotgun, I don't think we're going to be blasting our way through hell. So, um, this seems like uh, the the best non doom guy response. In taking Battlespire, our clan has overreached its resources and judgments. A time of change is coming. It is written in the firmament, and it is time to make fast and conserve our realm, not to extend our grasp. Battlespire is a rich resource and will be coveted by other clans. We do not need such distractions, especially as the storms of change come upon us. Is that clear? I think I get it. So you feel like it's an overreach and basically everyone's going to be weakened by trying to take the Battlespire, especially as like other other Daedric clans and stuff start uh, making plays. Okay, I see. Thank you. But can we talk about something else? Or I'll satisfy my curiosity. Okay. Uh, yeah, what are the questions? Certainly. What else do you wish to know? Okay, I'm bewildered by the subtleties of Daedric clan politics. Can you sort out for me the players in this little drama? Phaedra's clan represents the vital but impulsive and undisciplined element of the destructive principle. Zibilai's clan represents the ambitious but occasionally overreaching and imprudent side of destruction. I and my vassal lords and the Dramora clan represent the principle of destruction as evolution, aspiring to arts and powers of ever-increasing potency and aesthetic refinement. The seducers are masterless Daedra, cast adrift by the failed fortunes of their lords, and recently accepted, much against my counsel, into Lord Dagon's service. Is that clear? Huh. Okay, well, that is interesting. I see. Thank you. But can we talk or something? Okay. I think I'm, I'm, I'm getting that. I, I don't remember which clan is part of which. Huh. Certainly. What else do you wish to know? Okay, what's your stake in this? Are you angling to supplant your boss? That seems that seems dangerous. And g g given what happened, uh, given the names that we're familiar with in the later games, I'm going to suspect you would not be successful. You think I am ambitious? My interest is purely in the welfare of the clan. Dagon's tolerance of the antics of Zivili and Phaedra, and his acceptance of the clanless seducers into the inner councils of our clan are an unfortunate divergence from Dagon's otherwise prudent policies. It would be better if my lord and his most wayward lieutenants were to take a short vacation while I restore Clan Dagon to its normal stability. Is that clear? Yeah, it's it. it yeah, okay. I I I think I I I see what that is. Uh, you you're gonna end up dead. <laughs> uh. Depending on how Dagon is, but uh, I could see that being, yeah, okay. Basically, you disagree with how he's running things. You want things to be the way they always were. Hmm. I don't think it's going to be tolerated too well there, uh, Mr. Imago Storm. Certainly. What else do you wish to know? Okay, I can't understand why any of the Daedra clans have anything to do with mortals. Why would even the least of Daedra answer a mortal sorcerer's summons? You know, that is a really good question. Is there some sort of like deep magic that they must that they're compelled to to respond to, or is it that they just sort of see an opportunity? I don't know. Let's see. Mortals are short-lived, ignorant, and feeble by contrast with the Daedra. But you mortals are also potent engines of change and innovation, of desperate and reckless improvisation and industry. Thus. Do we so prize the fruits of your mundane and arcane engineering? Thus do we bargain and plunder and steal to gain these treasures. We have lived too long, and grow dull and complacent. You live too short, and so are wonderfully sharp and inventive. Does that make sense? I kind of like this angle. This is a neat angle. Yeah, because if, if you basically can live forever, 
yeah, you would get complacent. Like at one point you get comfortable and you just sort of sit there, but being f forced by like a shorter lifespan, that's actually an interesting, that's an interesting angle. I like that. That is cool. I see. Thank you. But can we talk of something else? So they, they, they're attracted to humans because they see excitement in humans or not, 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 sorry, not just humans, mortals. Cause yeah, we're, we're in a fantasy se setting and stuff. Interesting. Certainly. What else do you wish to know? All right, I think I've asked all the questions, so let's, um, okay, what's your proposal? Let's hear it. Here's my proposal. I will give you the new nimics of Phaedra, Zibeli, and Lord Dagon. Do you know what a neonimic is and what it signifies? Isn't that the name? Uh, hey, <laughs> I know a little about such things. The, the neonimic gives me the power to banish Daedra, a Daedra creature into oblivion. Oh, I see what he wants. He wants me to send them off on a little vacation so that he can go ahead and um, put things in order. Okay. You are correct in general. Actually, the incantation of the neonimic drains the vital force from an immortal, forcing him to follow that force into oblivion. There, one abides until the vital force is replenished. The experience is somewhat analogous to sleep for mortals. However, sleep is a normal experience for mortals. It is not a normal experience for an immortal. Suffice it to say that it is as close to the terror and despair of death as an immortal can come. That is interesting. Like some of the stuff this guy's telling me, I'm like, this is this is some cool lore. This is some neat lore of how like the stuff in Elder Scrolls works. That is cool. So you will give me the neonimics, and then you will use those neonimics to cast them into oblivion for the present. For reward, you shall have your life and the life of your companion. When Dagon is cast into the void, you may take his amulet of entry pass into the ward sigil that hangs in his sanctuary, and thus be teleported back to Battlespire, where you may pass through his sigil there and return to Tamriel. Does that satisfy you? Okay, yeah. Very much. Too much to be true, but I know that I will not get a better offer from anyone else. And I also know I am too ignorant of Daedric politics to be a significant player without your help. So we have an agreement. I am overwhelmed. I must have time to think. I will return when I have considered your offer. I'm afraid you may have to explain everything all over again. No, I think we're good. I, I, I understand what's going on. Um, uh, no, I like this. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you got a deal. Dagon's incantory neonimic is Jekeleho Debe Efehezepe. Zibilai's neonimic, Wegarose Chekohu. Phaedra's neonimic, Nepeque Kodo. I will give you a document bearing the appropriate neonimic, the Daedric characters, the transliteration into Tamrelic, and a phonetic transcription to help you pronounce the phrases effectively. That's very convenient. Thank you. I was like, oh, I'm going to need to write this down, won't I? Maybe. You think of everything, which is quite terrifying. Yeah, I, I, I like you, Imago Storm. I do like you. You have to trust me. You have no choice. I appreciate that. It must be very unpleasant. And now, here is one of the three keys to the gate. When all three keys are placed in the gate lantern in the center of the chamber, this gate will carry you to Lord Dagon's hunting lodge, where your friend is held. And the other two keys are held by Phaedra Sharde and Zibeli Moab, so I know your path must cross theirs. Okay. So I use their neonimics to deal with them, get their keys, and then ultimately that will lead me to Dagon. Uh, Dagon. All right. Thank you. An old man told me that I am a tool in the hands of the gods. I thought it funny and cruel at the time, but as you suggest, the path the gods have painted is unmistakable. They are your gods, mortal, and none of my affair. There is no reason for us to speak further. It has been a pleasure to meet you. Perhaps we shall meet again someday. 
Farewell and good fortune, mortal. See you later there, uh, Imago, Storm, however you want to be addressed. Farewell. And he's gone. Is this the, uh, the path to Dagon? That I need the keys for? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's take a look at my, my inventory. I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, we'll, f we'll see that stuff in my inventory, or is it on the ground? Okay, there we go. We have a gate key, and here's a scroll. Dagon's Encantory Neonimic is... Ugh, the danger characters are... Ugh, uh, Orin Tamrielic. Jaclode... Yeah, whatever. Um, cool. Oh, that was, that's exciting. That's kind of, that is cool. All right, so um, we're gonna actually stop things here. I've, I, that, that, that was a cool uh, that was a cool lore dump, uh, and uh, I'm not looking forward to going down the, the elevator and fighting um, fighting that dude. Uh, do I want to save over? I'm pretty sure I can save over my dump, so I'll, I'll make a second save after I talk to him, just in case I want to reference within the game without having to load up my video. So we'll just say 68.2, or end. There we go. Not with that way, I can just load that one for next time. All right, so that's gonna take us to the end. Uh, if you liked this uh, this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like it, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. Next time we're going down that elevator, we're going to fight that uh, Daedra Lord. We're probably gonna get ourselves killed a bunch of times, but ultimately we now have our, our final goals. We gotta track down those two Daedric lieutenants, um, banish them off into the void, take, take their keys, and then go uh, deal with a final showdown with Dagon. Exciting. Um, but until then, until the excitement begins, I would like to ask each and every one of you to game on.